Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode here on the YouTube channel. In today's video, we have the Champions League quarterfinal against AC Milan, a side that lost to Bayern Munich in last year's final. It's also a side that we played on the opening day of the Champions League this season and I really think with us having one of the best teams in the world, we have a big shot to not just beat AC Milan today, but to go and win this competition and potentially do a double, if not a treble. If you have not checked out last episode, make sure you do because it was a 25 minute two game special with no cuts all play through and we won the Premier League title with seven games in hand we have finally done it I've been saying for the last year and a half we are the best team in England and we have finally shown it considering the points tally we are already on with that being said give it a like do subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the episode here it is going to be very Champions League focused this is a team that we did play on the opening day this season in the Champions League, and it was a 1-1 draw many, 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 many months ago. As you can see here, we played the inverted wing-back system. We scored in the first minute, got utterly dominated outside of that, but picked up a point. And as often seen in this inverted wing-back system, it is all about us playing, uh, you know, trying to get games to the deep stage to either go a bit more aggressive or see it out. My plan today is to play the inverted wing back system but play with a more full strength side than this one here. We had a bit of a rotation as you can see in this game and my idea in this is to get the game to be close, tight and tense and then at Wrexham in Wales at the race course and the last season the race course will be around with the new stadium coming. I am planning to go absolutely ballistic and hopefully knock out the team that made it to the final last year. With that being said, they knocked out um, they knocked out Liverpool, which is no mean feat. The team that knocked us out last season in the Champions League. And we go to just the Champions League last season as well. AC Milan, in their run, finished through the group inside the uh, outside the top eight. Beat Lazio in the first knockout round. Beat Rangers, then beat Liverpool again. Beat Man United, uh, Manchester City, and then lo beat, lost to Bayern. So there's a side that from outside the top eight went to the final. There is a very good football team in here. And apparently I can't click on last year's final, which is very, very odd. Uh, with that being said, in the Serie A at the moment, they currently sit second and are tied on points of Inter, but Inter have a game in hand. Inter have been massively the stronghold in Italy, it has to be said. They have a world-class squad and have plenty of money and often are bidding 190 mil for my goalkeeper, Dominguez. And well, that brings us into our game. Unfortunately, international duty has not been kind to us. Um, we lost Dominguez out of injury. He's going to be missing for the next couple of weeks. Um, it just means that a guy that's played over what? 266 games in the league. If you add in all the cup games, everything, well over 300 games for us. Arthur, who's been one of the icons of the save, is going to come in and play today. Um, Jordan Shaw is definitely ready to play more minutes, that's for sure, and has been developing into a monster. But I'm going to trust Arthur in today. Um, and we also lost Ben Doak to injury. And we did have Herman and Consigli having some niggling knocks in the last game as well. Now, Dimitri Dennis isn't going to play today in his natural position. But as a winger, he just scored two against Brighton. We did just slap Brighton 5-2 uh, in the last league game. I think it was 5-2. It might have been 4-2 or 6-2. Uh, let's have a look. 5-2. Yep, there we go. And we, of course, live on the stream. So links down below to come follow us live. Uh, ben Dyke is going to come out here for Mario Battistuta. will make the bench. And James Richardson, has to be said, has been developing in the under-16s. That much so, he played for Australia against Finland in the last international duty. So nice to have an Australian international here. And I've decided to uh, give him a minute off the bench. And if things go well, you might see him play in a Champions League game. If we're winning by a mile, which I highly doubt we will be. Um, unfortunately, Victor's out injured and same with Jamie Hamazabal, so we're actually going to be one short on the bench. But your team to tackle the team that made it to the final of the Champions League last season in the inverted wing back system is Arthur, Robertson, Cunnington, Parsons, your doggy, Quillabali, Desri Do, Batistista. We have signed for this sort of game to come in and play box to box. Consigli, Herman, and Dedez with his physicality as well, class as a winger, play for Germany, finally, as a winger out, so out, out wide in his first game for Germany. And off we go. Have to say, Caputo's form has been amazing. He's currently playing at four star. So uh, definitely worth maybe chucking Caputo up front or into this game as well. And Mohamed Mohamed is coming back from injury, but he's also finally hit four star. We have a lot of guys that are now leading Premier League players. So to keep them all happy with minutes is proving very, very difficult. With that being said, let's get into it. But let's go. Hopefully, we have a nice, tight, and tense game against AC Milan. The inverted wingback system has been built for these bigger away days in Europe. There's bigger away days in the Premier League. So far, it has worked, but you just never know. If AC Milan rock up, we could be one or two goals down early, and then we're going to have to change system and hope we come back in the game 
I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. We're going to ask our assistant, obviously, here. We've obviously got to never press the wingers. We always do this now. And Lucas per Perry in net is a world-class keeper still. Don't let the star ratings fool you. Clue's playing wide. Um, I like that he's not playing centre-back, so that's pretty good for us. Miguel is six foot four, got decent technicals and mentals, but we probably can beat him for speed in behind. Mick Four is still world-class, and Giovanni is still a very, very good Brazilian left-back. We'll say he does lack going forward a little bit, but eh. Lavi is world-class in the hole, obviously. Eduardo Bove is fantastic. And Huna Nemeth, the Hungarian, looks pretty solid as well and can definitely pass the ball. Luca Romero scored a wonder goal against us last time out in the first game of the Champions League. If you remember that, he went on a run and beat four. Rafael Leal still is world-class at 33. Still has great technicals and physicals. A legendary winger in his own right. And Maximilian Sebald looks fantastic. You can see how this team made it to the Champions League final last year. They do have some good players on the bench as well. We went through that when we played them in the Champions League in the first knockout stage. It's now the Champions League anthem. It is a big game. The royalty of European football, AC Milan, up there with the Liverpools and the Real Madrids of the world with the team steeped in history, or the club steeped in European history, versus little old Wrexham, a team that could still win a treble this season. And if I'm being bullish, I really think we should as well. Pep underscore SP. Why do you never press the wingers? Uh, two reasons. A, RDF Tactics started doing it. And I was like, okay, I'm interested as to why he does that. Um, I actually used to, back in the day, as this game's going to tick away, back in the day what I used to do is actually go to opposition, select all players, part the goalkeeper, and press all of them. And show all of them on weaker foot. Then it stopped working in FM21. So I then stopped using uh, opposition instructions, just letting it go. Now, the reason why RDF Tactic does it, and I definitely agree with it when I'm especially using inverted wingbacks, is your wingbacks inverted will go and be narrow, and you've got a box, and you're being compact, right? Now, if they go to tightly mark the winger when you lose the ball, instead of staying compact and naturally getting into position and maybe going back into right back so that they can't just go down the line, they'll go and try to tightly mark the winger. So they might drag, you know, instead of being in this position and being in here and coming back in the fullback and keeping shape, they're going to tightly mark the winger. The winger might be here in the half space or wide peeling. They'll try and do this, and that will actually give you a bit of a bigger gap in the other spaces for their midfielders to come flowing in or their striker to peel off. And what I see is that we used to do it all the way up the last season, and that's how I would concede a lot of my goals. Fullback would go try and get tight on the winger, get beat in behind, get turned, one, two, off we go. Since doing this, we've only considered 20 goals in the Premier League this season, so it's worked. Um, the fullback, especially the inverted one, instead of going, where's the winger? He'll go into position first, and then obviously we have very good defending you know, players because we're world-class, right? And then they'll be engaged, stop a lot of the balls coming in the box, you know, be in a better position. Um, and what I imagine happens, because you don't see always the highlights because it's on key, is that they then just turn around, keep possession, you get your shape, you win the ball and the press and off you go, right? So we started doing that. It's just to so the wing back the wing the wing backs don't get pulled out by the wingers. Um, and you can keep your shape. Especially when you play one complete wing back that might try and man mark the winger right here, but then Eight's made a run into this wide space like playing Mazala. Uh, you know, don't worry about him. He's the guy that's in danger. Get back to left back. You know, same with the inverted wing back. Get back into your position once we lose the ball, sort of thing. So yeah. So they don't get pulled out of position. Um, I cancelled that. So I think we've already done what we needed to do here. Yes, okay, beautiful. Let's get into it. Come on, off we go. The inverted wing-back system. The more defensive system. And here we go. Rafael Liao. Robertson now going to chase into here. Gets him behind, so he should have won the ball there. But yeah. Giovanni. In a Nemef. In a Bov. Kalu. From fullback. Puts it wide. Okay. Yeah, if they're not pressing, um, the thing is, is you're thinking that that means they won't go wide, but they do, right? Because if they go to man mark them, they'll go tight on them, and then if they get beat, then it crosses in the box, where now that they're not being tight on, they actually go and fill in in their actual zone in here and then be very engaged with the full with, with the winger when he comes to try and beat them, which is much better. Can I just say here, boys, 32 minutes play, this is going to plan. Uh, the inverted wing-back system having more of the ball, and so far, nil-nil, which is nice. Let's hopefully not concede from this set piece, though. I actually go short. That's actually very well worth This is a goal, boys. This is a goal. This should be a goal. Rafael Leal doesn't miss many. But he puts it wide. That's actually very well worth from AC Milan. Still nil-nil. 
Um, so far, very happy. We've had more possession, though, which makes me want to switch into the normal 4 3 3. But we'll leave it for now. Another set piece here. Sidebold back stick. And we're 1 0 down to Claudio Miguel. Hmm. 1 0 down to the team that made the Champions League final last year. We haven't had any luck in the Champions League so far. Still happy how this is gone. It's been a very even and tight game. If we score, we stay in the inverted wing back system. Long throw. Kulabali. Destiny's got options in the box. Cuts one. Desri Drew's a big boy. Heads wide. 44 minutes played. Do we be brave and switch? Well, if we concede, we have to. Don't concede, boys. Well done, Arthur. Good claim. The thing is, even in the inverted wing back system, we still, even though it's more defensively solid and we're not as heavy. You know, in terms of being on attacking or possess or positive, still do a job. Desri Du, he's in here. What a ball from Herman. Desri Du, good save from Lucas Perry. And to be fair for AC Milan, defended it pretty well. Far from happy. I think we'd be brave, boys. I think we go. Now, we can see the second, so be it. But let's go, I think. Let's get into the more aggressive 4 3 3. We've had the better of the half. Just conceded, which is not good. If it stays one new up, back us to still win in still win in Wales. Corner. Would be nice to see this go in and make it 1 1 though. Go short. Herman. Desri do. Back to Herman. Great football. Scores. Offside flag went straight up though. Unfortunate. Haven't had any luck in the Champions League at all in this save. They have no one on the post, which is fair enough. Yeah, if they had people on the post, it's a great goal. Unlucky, unlucky. Sigley looking tired. Herman's now looking tired. All right, we want to make some changes here. Junior's going to come in for Consigli. We're going to get Caputo on as well. Ben Dyke's probably not ready to come on. He's coming back from injury, so I don't want to really bring him on. Let me still go box to box as well. All right, not going to plan, but if it finishes 1-0, I'm okay with it because I still back us to win in, um, in Wales. A lot of tired legs out there, which is not good. Time is ticking. All right, Ben Doak, as much as I don't want to really bring you on with on one leg, you have to really come on right now. And because both my backup strikers are injured, Mohamed Mohamed is, what, back in seven days or two weeks? I don't want to risk him. I don't want to bring Richardson into a game like this for Desri Do as well. Hard. Destiny Doggy coming off for Walter, I think's one. And Lozano for Robertson as well. I think we need a... Still play the aggressive 4 3 3, but have fresh legs so we don't get hit on the break here late doors. Encourage the team here to maybe try and create something late. Looks like we're going to lose 1 0. That's okay. I still make us favourites over two legs now. We drew 1 1 last time we played, and we lose 1 here in Italy. Very, very, very even game. But I reckon the aggressive 4-3-3, three, three, as long as we score that first goal in Wales, we'll still win the tie. I'm very bullish in that with the team that we are. I think we played okay. I think we played okay. To, lose, to concede to a set piece is whatever. Very Italian sort of game, you would say. You know, AC Milan did their job, you know. In Italy, score a goal, set up shop, you name it. Had a couple chances. But I'm pretty happy with that as well. I now get to fully rotate against Crystal Palace. And then get to go full stream against AC Milan. Uh, at home. Knowing that we get a few more boys back from injury. You know, Muhammad Muhammad should be pretty close. Herman won't be as unfit. Um, Hamazabal should be pretty close to being back as well off the bench, which is another attacking option. So, especially a week after a, you know, a week after an international day where you lost about four to five guys to some niggly injuries, I'm happy with that because I think on paper we'll come back in and we'll win this game. So, we'll see these guys in a second. Don't go anywhere. Champions League second leg incoming. I'll be very annoyed to get knocked out by AC Milan in the quarterfinal with a team which I think is arguably on paper the best in the world. Welcome back, race course, quarterfinal, and we get a chance to really prove if we are one of the best teams in the world. Because if we are, we should come here tonight, even though we're 1-0 down, 
be favourites and win by a mile. If we go into the schedule here, we did fully rotate against Palace. We won 2-0, which was pretty comfortable in the end. And we are in a position where we can win this game for sure. Unfortunately, Dominguez is still injured. I could play Arthur, and I should play Arthur. And I think Arthur probably warrants a spot, and we will play Arthur. I was maybe thinking about playing uh, Mr. Jordan Shaw. Unfortunately, we do have some injuries here, but Ben Dyke is past fit here as well. Um, played off the bench in the last game, so we are at full strength. I think Destiny Doggy has to start, personally, as well. Um, the rest of the team picks itself. Muhammad Muhammad's not 100% back, nor is Jamie Hamazabal, but we got Joey Victor in. Uh, no, he's not. He's not back. James Richardson in. Batistuta in and Oliveira in, so we do have a full bench. It'd be nice to have a, be 100% fully fit for this one, um, but yeah, we're not, and that's okay. With that being said, though, this is a team that's still good enough to win, even though Arthur is in net and does concede a little bit more than Dominguez. I personally think we'll get through this one okay. In the aggressive 4 3 3, it is Arthur, Robinson, Cunnington, Parsons, and your doggy. Kula Bali, Dedez, and Desiree Do. Doat back from injury, considerably on the left, and Josh. Herman is up front. The winner of this will more than likely play Barcelona, who are currently ahead of Arsenal 2-1, which you saw on the previous screen. It is time to go, boys. It is time to go. Let's go see if they made any changes. Let's go and get into the system here and go in here, ask the assistant, never press the two wingers, and it looks like they've moved into a 4-3-3. Three, three. They played 4-2-3-1 three, three, last game, or they played 4-3-3? Three, three? Actually, if they played 4-3-3, three, three, they've lined up the exact same. Makes particular sense. None of them look unfit. Big Champions League ties come for big moments and big football clubs. And we are finally one of those. They call on big players. Players of world-class quality. And we have some of those. So are we good enough to finally win this competition at the third time of trying? Well, tonight will be a big test and away we go. Italian sides don't concede many in the Champions League, but they have to concede tonight if we're going to go through... It is going to be Wrexham in the red, AC Milan in some very futuristic away strip, which is very odd. And here we go. It's a big old game, this one, huh? It's a big old game. We need that first goal, and if we score that first goal early, I believe we will rout them. And this is a side that made the Champions League final last year. So far, though, in the first 10 minutes, it actually looks like AC Milan are the more dominant of the two sides, which is definitely not good to see. And it doesn't look like we've rocked up here at all. 20 minutes in, this is definitely not going to plan. All right, I'm going to demand a little bit more here of the boys. Consigli on the press, though, wins it. Desri do. Here we go. Got Doak to his right. Desri hits from distance just over the bar. And off we go. Away we go here. Nil, nil. Jammin Eggs, hello, who should I do my first PC save with? How new are you to Football Manager? That's the question. Have you been playing a lot on console and understand some concepts? Or is this like your first real go at Football Manager? 40 minutes played, nil nil. It's not been the greatest game out there, let's be honest here, boys. It's not really had the best of days. One nil down here at half time. We're going to freshen arms and tell us to get a bit better. Doak has made 45 minutes. Dimitri Dead is actually going to go out wide. Caputo's been in great form. We're going to go to the central midfielder on attack as well. Definitely, there's a lot more into it. Maybe start with your favourite football club just to get used to the features. Play it for six months and then, not as in in-game six months. And then, yeah. This has not gone the plan at all, boys. For a team that should be dominating, we are currently not having a good one here. Eight shots, five to two shots, zero. This has been very, very poor. Had a little bit better in the match momentum here, but yeah, we need a goal. We need a goal against the run of play. Still nil-nil though. Cunnington. Highlight now. Desri Do. Caputo's in a great half spot. Consigli. Caputo. Good touch. Can he score? Luca Pereri with a save. And it could have been 1-0. It's not. I've got this sneaking suspicion we're gonna fall again at the first real hurdle. Sixty-eight minutes played, still one nil down. Highlight here: if AC Milan score we're out, and that would be brutal. Martelli, long, consigli wins. Wow, falls to Bov. Bov, Arthur with a big save to keep us in it. Consigli's tight. I don't like bringing him off, but Junior has to come on with fresh legs here. I feel. Destiny, your doggy for Walter as well.
Is there going to be a highlight here? Are we going to score a goal? 80 minutes played. Well, still 1-0 down. This has not gone the plan. Highlight. Parsons. Caputo. Leaves it short. Come on, boys. It's not really gone our way. Dorsett. Romero. It's all but over, isn't it? Great save again from Arthur. Oh, my. Why? We're the, one of the best teams in the world, man. We haven't not scored in any game this season. And now here we go. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Muhammad, Muhammad, you're on one leg. I kind of need you now. Need you more than ever. Need a goal. We need it now. This is not good. This is not going to plan at all. We need it now. Is there going to be a highlight? Give us a highlight, football manager, please. Five minutes at a time. Highlight. Okay. Are we going out? Are we really going out? All right, come on. Up the field we go. We need to force Lucas Perry long. Can we win? Parsons does. Caputo. Got options here. Desri do. Ball over the top into a channel. Headed away. Need to get on the press again. <laughs> Romero, Caputo pre presses, forces the mistake. Walter, Caputo, Dedez, Herman. Junior's offside. Junior's offside. No! Stay on the side, Junior. How have we not scored over two legs? How have we not fucking scored over two legs? One of the best teams in the world. We've got one of the best strikers in the world. Best wingers in the world. We've not scored over two legs. Are we fucking for real? Oh my god. What a failure this season. What a massive failure this season. 90 points in the league. We've lost one game all year in the league. Bang. Are we for real? I was confident. I was confident. I sat here confidently. I thought tonight we're going to log in. We've been the best team in the world. We're going to win the league, the, the Champions League, and the FA Cup. And I'll be done with this save. Instead, there's going to be a season 11 because we cannot not, not end this save without us winning the Champions League. I am in utter, utter disbelief and shock. How have we not scored over two legs? Keeps happening in the Champions League. Keeps on happening. Absolute joke. Unbelievable. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to play Chelsea in for four days' time as the next episode because obviously the FA Cup final is now what we focus on. Imagine being this good. We get knocked out in the semi-final at Wembley and we don't win the Champions League. That would be... I actually think this year, if I only win one trophy, that would be a very, very, very poor year. See you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.